yes it's the mechanical engineering students welcome back into my channel hope you are all doing well if you are having uh, the backlog of tom subject theory of machines so this is a model for a super important derivation and some numericals are there on this particular uh, derivations which i will solve in this particular one shot video so let's start without wasting a time derive an expression for the natural frequency of supreme mass system using newton method and energy method by two methods we have to derive the expression so this is the spring mass system spring plus mass so figure shows a simple spring mass system which is assumed to move only along the vertical direction whenever you attach the mass m with the spring automatically it will uh, what we call move downwards okay that is uh, we are supposed to move this particular mass system in only vertical direction that is what i have written over here next let this k is nothing but this is the stiffness of a spring or simply uh, spring force okay so m is equal to mass of block when a body is displaced from its static equilibrium position oscillation will take place at the natural frequency in equilibrium position the forces acting are shown in figure so these are the forces which i have drawn in the free body diagram this is your free body diagram see here this is after when you just uh, what we call move the mass according to the spring when you attach the mass with the spring it will automatically move downwards so there will be a somehow displacement x which i denote with the x and spring distance will be denoted by delta okay this is mass and this is your mg which is acting downwards after drawing the free body diagram this is mass so its uh, weight will be mg automatically mg is equal to w mass into acceleration due to gravity which is equal to w which is nothing but k into delta see here we are discussing that it is equilibrium position when will these two systems will be in equilibrium when this mg force is equal to the spring force spring force is nothing but force upon deflection force upon deflection f upon delta so i can write write down here f is equal to this k into delta so k into delta so this k into delta must be equal to this mg so that the system will be in equilibrium i hope you are understanding my point that is what i have written here mg is equal to w is equal to k delta just because these are in equilibrium okay and two forces are acting uh, against it against the motion of the uh, body that is inertia force which is which is equal to mx double dot first of all you should know this x double dot see here on the right left hand side i will show you x is called the distance okay x dot is equal to velocity right next is x double dot it is called as acceleration okay as you already know force is equal to mass into acceleration as per newton's second law so mass into acceleration this becomes your inertia force so m x double dot this x double dot is nothing but acceleration so m x double dot as i clearly told you over here x double dot denotes acceleration x dot uh, denotes velocity x is equal to distance right and one force also this k into delta plus x delta plus x is nothing but displacement of body and spring so this force is also acting against the motion of the body okay now by newton's second law of motion summation of force is equal to mass into acceleration you know already this principle this newton's law so i can write down what is the force force means mass into acceleration acceleration is denoted by mx double dot right which is equal to w minus so see here this is your summation of force means all forces you have to sum up these two are in opposite direction so i can write down sorry i will write down here k into delta plus x plus mx double dot these two forces are opposite and its opposite force is w so which is equal to w then the system will be in equilibrium i can write down here now mx double dot which is equal to w minus this k into delta plus x i will shift on the right hand side it will become k into delta plus x right now mx double dot is equal to w minus k into delta minus into plus is minus k into x is kx hope you are getting my point now after that i can write down mx double dot hope it is clear to you people mx double dot is equal to w minus k delta minus kx we are getting over here right k delta minus kx okay now see here k delta is equal to mg 
so i can put down the value over here that is mx double dot is equal to w is equal to nothing but mg okay minus k delta is also mg k delta is also mg over here so i can write down mg okay minus times kx this mg and mg gets cancelled what i will get mx double dot this is minus kx if i shift it on uh, left hand side it will become plus kx is equal to zero right now divide this term by m so dividing m on both sides okay so m and m gets cancelled i will get with the x double dot plus k by m times x is equal to zero by m is zero right now x double dot plus this relationship k by m it is always equal to omega square n is always equal to k upon m so instead of k by m i can write down omega square n times x this is your natural frequency which is equal to zero and also you can write down omega square n is equal to k by m which is equal to if you are only if you have to take only omega omega n is equal to this square will shift it will become under root of k by m this is your equation for this uh, natural frequency by using this was your what we call newton method right now by energy method we were supposed to derive the expression by two methods so in energy method also we should get the same equation that is omega n should be equal to under root of k by m let us see in energy method what will happen so according to energy method energy method the sum of energies associated the sum of energies associated associated with the system is constant so it is energy method what it is stating it is stating that according to the energy method the sum of energies associated with the system is constant means kinetic energy plus potential energy is always equal to constant hope you are getting my point now what is the kinetic energy uh, you know already 1 by 2 um, mv square but instead of taking v i will take x dot square this is instead of v i already told you here that is x dot is velocity so instead of v i am taking x dot square okay and also potential energy potential energy it is equal to 1 by 2 spring force k into x dot square this is your relation for potential energy is equal to constant so these two energies are constant now if i differentiate this term so d by dx of 1 by 2 mx dot square plus 1 by 2 kx dot square is equal to constant it is differentiation also okay now differentiate this term so it will become 1 by 2 this is mx dot square so 2 will come here mx dot and internal differentiation of x dot is x double dot okay i hope your differentiation part is clear so this is your 2 will come here as a coefficient mx dot and x dot differentiation is x double dot okay similarly here you can easily calculate the differentiation so this is 1 by 2 this 2 will come here and k as it is and x dot as it is what is x dot differentiation x double dot okay so sorry it is actually kx 1 by 2 kx square this is potential energy is only 1 by 2 kx square this is not velocity square okay you should remember this one otherwise the whole equation will become wrong so this is 1 by 2 kx only not x dot x dot square 1 by 2 kx square so 1 by 2 is here 2 will come here kx it is only x now and differentiation of x is x dot only okay hope it is correct now which is equal differentiation of constant is always zero okay this 2 and 2 will cancel 2 and 2 will get cancel i will get with m x dot x double dot plus k times x x dot is equal to zero now what i will take common here x dot x dot is same so i can take x dot as common x dot inside i will get m x double dot plus k x is equal to zero this x dot will shift here zero divided by x dot is zero so m x double dot plus k x is equal to zero okay hope you are following now i can take here uh, dividing m on both sides so dividing m on both sides 
so m sorry this m and this m will get cancelled you will get with x double dot plus k by m x is equal to 0 where this k by m is already here k by m is equal to omega square and i can write down x double dot which implies x double dot plus omega square and x is equal to 0 instead of k by m i have taken omega square and so this omega n square is equal to k by m implies that omega n is equal to under root of k by m so we are getting same equation for uh, natural frequency omega n is equal to under root of k by m omega n is equal to under root of k by m this is the whole derivation it is the 10 marks in the video examination now let's solve one problem on this uh, either by using a uh, newton method and uh, energy method over here okay now this is the problem you can now observe determine the equation of motion of simple pendulum shown in figure and also find the natural frequency see here this is your pendulum mass m and l length is l okay after drawing free body diagram when you just oscillate this pendulum over here this is your mass will displace uh, with a distance x and l will be the same distance as it is of this particular pendulum and it will uh, what we call deviate with the angle theta and this will be it is uh, inertia force acting rightwards that is mass into acceleration m x double dot and this will be it is uh, mg uh, acceleration due to gravity g is acceleration due to gravity and this is mass okay so this will be its weight acting downwards now by newton's method what newton says disturb so disturbing moment is equal to minus times restoring moment means when this mass will displace so its force will be mx double dot okay mx double dot multiplied by this length you know already moment we are taking moment taking moment at o i i hope you are having the knowledge of moment as far as your introduction to spin subject is concerned in the first semester itself so moment is always force into perpendicular distance this is your force inertia force acting and this is it is perpendicular distance so mx double dot into l uh, due to this this mass uh, of pendulum will move over here so this is your mx double dot into l that is force into perpendicular distance is equal to restoring moment when it will come back on its original position so this mg is the key factor which will bring this mass to its origin position so this is mg into this perpendicular distance see here mg is acting downwards and x is the distance so minus times mg into x this is newton method disturbing moment moment is equal to minus times restoring moment now hope you are getting this is if you calculate sine of theta what is the relation of sine theta perpendicular upon hypotenuse so this is the perpendicular this is its hypotenuse so sine theta is equal to x by l so if theta is very small we can assume that sine theta is only theta see here instead of sine theta we have to take theta so theta is equal to x upon l x is equal to this l into theta l into theta similarly i can take the relationships from this uh, relationship see this is x is equal to l theta x means distance so if i have to calculate velocity and acceleration so x dot i can take l theta dot similarly for acceleration x double dot is equal to l theta double dot similarly it will go on okay hope you are getting so this is x dot is equal to l theta dot x double dot is equal to l theta double dot now in this equation m x double dot is here so instead of x double dot we have to take l theta dot double dot so this is m instead of x uh, x double dot we have to take l theta double dot so l theta double dot is here into l okay which is equal to minus times mg instead of x l theta is here so l theta i can take instead of x over here okay so this is your m into l into l l square m l square theta double dot plus mg into l theta is equal to zero i have taken this minus on left hand side it will become positive so ml and ml i will take common here i will get with l theta double dot plus g theta is equal to zero so this is where l theta double dot plus g theta is equal to zero we have to calculate the uh, frequency we are supposed to uh, determine the frequency here also find the natural frequency so omega n is always equal to coefficient of theta divided by coefficient of theta double dot what is the coefficient of theta the coefficient of theta is g so under root of g and uh, what is the coefficient of theta double dot it is l so g by l radian per second is it is frequency so this is a very simple question only thing is you need to practice okay now by energy method we have to uh, solve the same question 
see here by energy method kinetic energy we have already seen in the derivation part that is kinetic energy plus potential energy is always equal to constant so we have to differentiate kinetic energy and potential energy it is equal to zero the differentiation of constant is always zero see here the figure this is your mass and mass is displaced here so the cent the distance between centers of these m is h over here okay rest of the things are same this is inertia force mx double dot and this is l length mg is it is weight acting downwards and now kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mv square but we are not taking v we are taking instead of v x x dot square so 1 by 2 mx dot square plus is equal to and sometimes potential energy is always equal to m l square sorry this is kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mx dot square so 1 by 2 instead of x dot see here in the previous step also we have take x dot is equal to l theta dot see now x dot is equal to l theta dot means you have to take square so l square theta dot square i hope you are understanding this much so instead of x dot we are taking l theta dot square so this is your l square theta dot square okay that is what i have written over here ml square theta dot square so potential energy is sometimes equal to mgh okay you might have heard about it which is equal to mg into h this is the h distance over here this is full distance is l okay and this much distance is l cos theta now you will tell me how l cos theta see here cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse base means uh, whenever the side which is attached to the theta that is called as base but we are not knowing firstly what is the base value so uh, th cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse is l so i can see here so i can see here cos of theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse is l so base is equal to l into cos theta l cos of theta is equal to base so i have written over here this side as l cos theta it is nothing but base okay so now you tell me what is the h value okay so this is your full distance is l and this base distance is l cos theta so l minus this l cos of theta you will get h value so i have written over here m g l into 1 minus cos theta how see here h is equal to l minus l cos theta in actual so l i am taking common i will get with 1 minus cos of theta that is what i have written over here in this equation m g l into 1 minus cos of theta so d by d theta i am differentiating this term now uh, uh, kinetic energy and potential energy so 1 by 2 ml square theta dot square is over kinetic energy and over uh, potential energy is mgl into 1 minus cos of theta which is equal to 0 now 1 by 2 differentiation of this term with respect to theta dot so m as it is and this 2 will come here so 1 by 2 into 2 m as it is l square as it is theta dot as it is and what is the different internal differentiation of theta dot that is theta double dot we have already discussed it so far in the derivation part how this derivation comes up okay sorry how this uh, differentiation part is coming over here plus mgl into differentiation of one is zero differentiation of constant is always zero plus uh, cos theta differentiation is minus sine theta so minus minus will get plus sine of theta and differentiation of theta is theta dot which is equal to zero so two and two will get cancelled ml theta dot i will take this ml common and also here theta dot i will take common ml theta dot i am taking common here i will get with l theta double dot plus g i am getting here ml i have taken common and this uh, i will get here sine of theta okay which is equal to zero now if sine theta is very very small we have to assume sine theta is equal to theta okay now ml theta dot is equal to l theta double dot plus g into sine theta is g theta which is equal to zero so l theta plus g theta is equal to zero divided by this term you will get zero so omega n is always equal to coefficient of theta what is coefficient of theta g divided by coefficient of uh, theta double dot which is equal to l so radian per second is the frequency unit so this is the answer for natural frequency while using energy method same answer we are getting in newton uh, newton's method okay g by under root of g by l there should be same answer in the newton method and energy method also so these are very simpler problems you should uh, practice varieties of problems on this uh, particular concept notes are available in the description of uh, tom passing package also i will share the notes link uh, over here okay thank you